Regarding a poll inside Squarespace in a blog post, um, yes, it can do it. It's not especially elegant, but I think this is the most straightforward option for you to get this done without too much of a headache. So I'm in a blog post and I've come into edit mode. Um, somewhere where you'd like the poll to appear, look for the little plus icon. And then from the stuff that shows up here, go ahead and add an entire form. Now, this looks like a lot, but we are going to strip this down so it's basically just a poll. Um, I recommend that you change the form name <clears throat> to something that makes sense um, for the purpose of it. Um, submit is probably okay. And then it's going to be important, come into edit form fields. And we are going to add a field of the type um i think radio for a poll let's do that one okay um click then where the new radio field has appeared come inside here and ask your question about the poll you could also of course just leave this blank and do the question in the actual text of the blog that would be fine as well and then inside options uh whatever you are polling people on you can add those here. They're not showing up super big, but I think for your purposes, this is um, this is going to get the job done. All right. So once you've got your poll options in there, come back. Uh, required. Well, you could make it required, but I mean, somebody's not going to bother with it if they've no intention of submitting. So maybe don't worry there. Um, come back again. Now we're coming into these other fields and one by one click on them and then click delete so that as you can see the um, other stuff here is, uh, is being removed and we're just left now with this nice little um, snippet really that asks one question and then they can send their answer in. Um, come back here. So really important thing. We've looked at the um, the fields. There's not, to be honest, very much we can do in design. It's very exciting. Inside storage. So this is important. Um, for simplicity, I suggest you just come in here and give it an email address. What that will mean is you get an email every time somebody completes the poll. Now, my sense is for the volume of answers you're going to get, that will be fine. Maybe you can set up a rule inside your email or something to uh, channel them to a folder. Otherwise, you can connect it to something like a sheet on Google Drive. I have not experimented with this. So if you did want to get more sophisticated, there's an option here, but I have not played with it. OK, so when all that. Um, oh, actually, one more thing you might want. Uh, post submit. So inside the poll, after somebody completes the um, poll and hits the submit button. At the moment it's set, so just this simple thank you message comes up. That's where you change that if you want to say something else instead. Otherwise, yeah, so I'm coming back. I'm coming, of course, to done and save. And yeah, when that goes live, um, somebody will click the thing that they prefer, they'll hit submit, and then there's that thank you message showing up. Um, for them and you get an email in your inbox assuming you gave it uh, the correct email address to send to.